I used to cringe at the thought of being thanked for my service. I felt embarrassed, even a little shamed, to be thanked for doing nothing more than my job. Discounts and free meals felt awkward, and I preferred to just pretend to be a civilian and not mention anything about my service for the day. I'd get emails and some calls from family and friends wishing me well and, of course, thanking me, to which I'd say I appreciated it and quickly tried to change the subject. That changed for me about six years ago, when my parents took me out to dinner for Veterans Day. We were sitting down enjoying a meal when I noticed an elderly man sitting by the window eating alone. He was wearing a hat, proudly displaying the ship he had served on in World War II. He was staring out the window, lost in his own thoughts. I suddenly felt compelled to thank him for everything he did for us, for serving in a war that changed the course of history, for being there and bearing witness to the worst of humanity and its very best. My accomplishments felt small compared to what I knew that man had lived through. I got up from my table and walked up to him. I introduced myself and said those words, thank you for your service. He looked at me and smiled, shook my hand, and thanked me for mine. I asked how he knew I had served, and he said he could just tell. I asked him about his service, and I sat down with him for a few minutes while my parents sat away and watched us talk. That moment was something special for my parents as well. They were seeing two generations of veterans sharing a moment that isn't often seen. After a while, I got up to leave and he gave me another firm handshake. Before I left, I asked him one last thing. Does it ever stop feeling weird when people thank you for your service? He smiled again and said, no. It's always going to feel odd, but you have to understand that they're not just thanking you. They're thanking your branch too. They're thanking what you represent. All you have to do is thank them right back for their support because that is what it's really all about. It's about them. The civilians who may not entirely get it, but that's the point, isn't it? So that they never have to. I left that dinner with a new perspective on the responsibility I had as a veteran. That it wasn't about me, but about the people I served. Civilians who would never go to the places we've gone to or have to do the things we did. We share losses, but in our own unique ways. It's a day to be honored, not for what I've done, but for what we have done. Every veteran, past and present. My responsibility is to thank those civilians for their support, for their love, and especially to those who lost their loved ones. I thank them for their sacrifice. So to all my civilian friends and family, thank you for your support.